This segment sponsored by Rockfield Manor. The Harford County Wine Festival is just days away, and Rockfield Manor is just around the corner. Now, I had the chance to see it for myself and learn about this exciting event. Take a look. Hey everybody, it's Brandy. We are here at the Rockfield Manor to get a sneak peek of the Harford County Wine Festival. Now Kelly and Donna are with me and they're going to tell us all about what we can expect. Hi ladies. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Okay, Doing so well. So I'm the executive director here at Rockfield Manor for the Rockfield Foundation. And I am um, the Wine Festival co-chair and also on the executive board here at the Manor. Okay, so this is a beautiful property that we're standing on. Tell me, what is Rockfield Manor? So we are a nonprofit organization and our goal is to maintain the Rockville Manor Estate. We rent out the manor for uh, weddings, birthday parties, corporate fundraisers throughout the entire year. And then we also celebrate our signature event, which is the Harford County Wine Festival. Okay, so tell me all about the wine festival. Oh, it's going to be a great day. We have live music all day. We start out with um, Thunderball, and we finish the day with Super Bueno. Um, we have vendors, food vendors, crafters, artisans, anything you can imagine, we have it. Okay, so we are talking everything Harford County Wine Festival. Now joining us from Bel Air Liquors is Larry to tell us a little bit more about what the guests can sample. Hi. Well, hello. Um, this is the 14th year for the Harford County Wine Festival, and uh, Bel Air Liquors is more than happy to uh, also be involved with this year's event. Um, we have about 270 different wines to sample this year wow. with 45 different vendors being here that will be pouring samples of wine for people to taste and enjoy. And then there's some local wines that we can expect to, to be able to taste too, right? Yes, um, we have uh, Bordy Vineyards will be here and also Far Eastern Shore Winery from uh, Eastern Maryland will be here also. Okay, so you say when people come up, they will have their pick of more than 270 wines. Correct. Red, white, rosé, sparkling, we have it all. Larry, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Now this is a beautiful property that we are standing on. Tell me more about Rockfield Manor. Thank you. So Rockfield Manor is a historic venue here in Bel Air, Maryland. And what we actually do here at Rockfield is host um, special events like weddings, birthday parties, uh, corporate functions. So the manor is available for rental year round. Um, and that is actually what our goal is to, is to raise money for the Rockfield Foundation. So we decided to host the Harford County Wine Festival. So it's actually a lot of fun for a good cause. Yes, so what we actually do with the proceeds from our Harford County Wine Festival is we donate to local organizations here uh, throughout the county. One being um, the Rockville Foundation Scholarship through Harford Community College. We also donate to the uh, Toys for Tots here in the county, as well as the Explorers Program uh, with the Town of Bel Air uh, Police Department. And the remaining proceeds go back into maintaining the Rockville Manor Estate. Okay, so that's even better. Tell me what people can expect when they come here for the Harford County Wine Festival. We have three different ticket levels. One, the entry ticket is general admission, which allows you to come in at 1 o'clock and stay till 6. Um, with our wine enthusiast ticket, you get to come in 90 minutes early so that you can really get the full effect and taste the, the better wines. Um, and you get a swag bag. Our VIP ticket allows you to come in 90 minutes early as well, and you get a full catered dinner up here at the Manor House. Okay, we're here with John now from Parings Bistro to tell us more about the food that we can expect here at the Hartford County Wine Festival. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Well, generally what we like to do is set up different stations. So we'll have, for example, we'll have a, uh, a taco station over here, actually have an oven set up over here to do flatbreads coming out of the oven. Um, and then on the far side, uh, this year we're going to have our, our food truck over there doing uh, basically sliders and french fries right off the truck. Um, but for those healthy individuals, uh, we do have lots of salads and, uh, and hors d'oeuvres, uh, gazpacho if it's really hot out. And uh, the one thing that I can't forget is the lobster macaroni and cheese will be there. So always a disappointment if we don't have it. So. so all the food, the fun, the music, and it's for a great cause, right? Absolutely. Uh, plus we have six different uh, food vendors on the field. Okay, so all of that, especially for the non-drinkers, anything else? Um, we, ha we always have our designated driver tent. Um, we encourage that. Um, we have sodas and um, all different kind of food as well. Okay, and so where can people go to get the packages? 
you can go to www.harfordcountywinefestival.com and all our ticket information is there. All right, so September 28th, I know where I'm going to be. Thank you so much, ladies. We're going to take a look around this beautiful property. We'll be right back.